Since we moved to AWS, our developers were able to focus on building a great product for the users because we require minimal effort on managing our infrastructures. We don't have to actually think about how to run our architecture because the architectures has been taken care of by AWS. My name is Arizumi. I'm the CTO for Kefit. We want to democratize the way people access health and fitness. We started off one year ago with a fitness subscription model. Since then, we've evolved to focus more on lifestyle. We started Kefit one year ago with just two engineers. We started off with the cloud providers because that's the simplest way to move forward. But after a while, we realized that not all cloud providers are created equal, especially in terms of managing the services, how much effort you actually need to maintain certain services. Focusing on products is more important rather than managing the infrastructure. So that's why we decided to move away and then into AWS. When we started with AWS, the first thing I did was to search for how to run a web app on AWS. And the first thing that came out is this simplest way to run your web application, which consists of Route 53, hit on to ELB, and there's a CloudFront, S3, and then you hit on your EC2 instances, and you have your RDS, right? and run in two different availability zones, right? which means everything is redundant. There's no need to worry about site going down. With this, we figure out it's very simple. We don't need to do anything much. We just run as it is. When a new person coming in, it's easy for us to explain this is how we run things. Being a startup, you never know what's going to happen next. You will do your best to grow the company, but you never know when that growth is going to hit you and how far and how fast. Sometimes we just run a very successful marketing campaign or you get featured by news all around the world and it's just going to hit you right there. With AWS textbook setup, it allows us to scale up and down as needed. When we hit by a lot of traffic, it just goes up. When there's no more traffic, then we just scale down. And because there's a redundancy, we don't need to think too much about it. As Kefit scale throughout this region, now we are in eight countries. We realize that each country behave differently, especially countries like Korea, for example, where internet is always fast. We are already at disadvantage because their servers are already in Korea and our servers are in Singapore. Right? So at that latency alone, we are losing. Luckily, in January, AWS launched Seoul region. And for us, this is like godsend. And what we did was copy and paste our current architectures and move it over to Seoul region. And this way, our users in Korea can have optimal experience. What's important for us is to actually understand our users. So this is what we're going to do next. We want to use Amazon Machine Learning and Kinesis to build applications that understand who the user are and understand what they like, what they want to do. Once we understand the user, we want to communicate the right thing to them. This is where we're going to use simple notification service to send them a personalized message that they want to receive. If you're a new startup launching your own product, you should focus a lot of energy in your product, understanding your users and launching as soon as possible. So I propose go with the providers like AWS who understand what they're doing, who can provide you support. For Kefit, AWS always been around. What we like about AWS, it's, it's already part of our business. You hardly noticed it, but you know it's there to support you. you.